So well, it's certainly not going to be built by Patrick's Day if you're carrying out this long and quite involved process. There's an expert panel. They're going to set the terms of reference for studies to be carried out. They then have to report back and everything. I mean, this is going to take some time. Of course it is. Of course it is. But, I mean, isn't that what the democratic process is about? Isn't that what the public consultation is about? I said at the time that the litmus test of the public consultation, then being much criticised, would be the character of the response. Well, now we have made the response, and it's quite right that it should take some time, uh, because uh, these are important issues for local communities. We have Colm Fingleton. Colm, where are you? Colm, uh, <clears throat> what do you have to say to what you've heard uh, about this new uh, initiative? Well, um, I, I don't speak for the two projects that uh, Pat Rabbit has selectively picked out, which is Grid West and, and the Gridlink project. They'll have to speak for themselves. But this uh, is a political smokescreen. The, the political parties have come under, and this government have come under severe pressure from uh, local groups all around the country uh, who are up in arms about turbines and pylons across this country. And this government has come under severe pressure, and this is the result, to come out and try and buy their way past the local election. It's absolutely shameful. And the problem here is, and it has to be dealt with, and Pat Rabbit continues not to deal with it, is the energy policy in this country is in tatters. It is completely flawed. It has to be reviewed. And reviewing undergrounding is not going to solve the problem. There's communities right across this country, David, who are decimated, decimated, trying to deal with turbine companies, with pylons. <coughs> okay, and, but, but, no, but, and I'd say Pat Rabbit's one of his own uh, party members, just during the week, came out with a staggering figure of 23,000 megawatts of wind power. In a, you can shake your head, Pat Rabbit, but it's a fact. She brought it out the other day. 23,000 megawatts of wind power lined up for connection in Ireland. Okay, but and we only require about 3,000 to, to, to meet double the European targets that we have set. We only need about 3,500. So, Pat Rabbit, is, you're building a structure here. You're putting, turning Ireland into an offshore oh. wind farm. It's absolutely disgraceful. Okay. The, you have the Tower Breeders Association okay. Ireland up in arms. You have farmers up in arms. Okay, you have Colin, communities up in arms. Okay. And I think it has to come to a stop. Okay, thank We've you. Thank, thanks, Colm. Uh, Pat well, Rabbit, the, quick response to that? The, the, the first thing is that uh, you can't provide employment and jobs in the regions unless you have energy, unless you have broadband, unless you have water. That's the first point. Uh, secondly, this has got nothing to do with any export project that may or may not emerge in the Midlands. If there is, if there is an intergovernmental agreement, it is an entirely separate technology, a subsea cable. And I'm surprised that Cullum is so churlish to, as to dismiss what I have done in the two projects because I have met Cullum and his brother and his uh, colleagues in the Midlands on grid link and he requested me to do what I have done okay. today and now he has found he has found a new drum to be Colin okay. is the kind of guy yeah. that there is nothing that you could do okay, that well, would satisfy that's not true we don't, we don't, we don't have time to I'm afraid we